When we talk about the world's ancient civilizations, many point to Mesopotamia, Egypt, or China. But have you ever wondered what the ancient Japanese believed about their first civilization? Let's dive deep into Japan's legendary origins. In the beginning, according to ancient Japanese sources like the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki, the universe was a chaotic, formless void. From this chaos, the lighter elements began to ascend, forming the heavens, and thus the first deities came into existence. Among these deities were Izanagi and Izanami, tasked with creating solid land. Using a jeweled spear, they stirred the primal ocean below. As droplets fell, they coalesced into what we now recognize as the Japanese archipelago. These islands then became populated with gods and goddesses representing mountains, rivers, winds, and other natural phenomena. This was the first divine civilization, a realm of deities interacting, forming alliances, and sometimes even conflicting. However, tragedy soon followed. Izanami perished, giving birth to Kagutsuchi, the fire deity. Heartbroken, Izanagi tried rescuing her from the underworld, but failed. From his subsequent cleansing rituals, three paramount deities emerged. Amaterasu, the radiant sun goddess, was born from his left eye. Tsukuyomi, the moon god, emerged from the right, and the tempestuous storm god, Susanu, from his nose. Amaterasu's significance can't be overstated. Revered as the chief Shinto deity, she's considered the ancestor of Japan's imperial family, bridging the divine with the human realm. Yet not all was harmonious in this divine society. Susanu's unruly antics led to conflicts, most famously causing Amaterasu to hide in a cave, casting the world into darkness. The other gods, desperate to bring light back, devised a plan, successfully luring Amaterasu out and restoring balance. But how does this link to Japan's earthly civilization? Emperor Jimmu, believed to be the first emperor of Japan, is said to be a direct descendant of Amaterasu. Thus, in the legends, the human realm and its early society was a continuation of this divine legacy. As generations passed, this divine legacy took root in the daily lives of the people, their rituals and governance. Temples were erected, festivals celebrated, and traditions formed, all tracing back to these early tales. The ancient divine society didn't end in a cataclysmic event. Instead, it blended and evolved, merging with newer beliefs, forming the rich tapestry of Japanese culture we recognize today. From the majestic tales of gods and goddesses to the vibrant traditions of today, Japan's story is a testament to the enduring spirit of its people and their respect for both history and myth. Thank you for watching.